So I wanted to do a battery charging test here with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, but I wanted to do it with a real life sort of scenario here with it. We're gonna be using the 25 watt Samsung charge that's included with it, along with the USB Type-C cable as well with it. But we're going to be testing, instead of going from zero to 100, I'm actually gonna start off at about 20%, which I feel like 20% below is where most people kind of decide if they need to charge their phone. And we're gonna go all the way up to about 80%, because 80% I feel is where people feel most comfortable that they can unplug their phone and kind of go about their day. And that's usually where the fastest charging happens, so I think that's a pretty good space to sort of get an indicator of how fast your device can charge. We're also going to be using the Kavlin USB-C power meter to be able to see how much wattage we're getting out of the 25 watt charger going into it. And as you can see right here, we're already starting off with about 21 to 23 watts of power, which is about normal for the 25 watt charger, looking back at other previous Samsung devices since they've been putting this charger into it. And if we look at the charging times every 10%, we'll see that it takes over a little bit, about 10 minutes to get to about from 20 to about 40% and about five minutes of charge time between each 10% interval. I do wanna note that we are only gonna be testing with the 25 watt charger and not the 45 watt charger because Note 20 Ultra does not support super fast charging 2.0 like the Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra from this year actually do. And that really doesn't matter. And I know that seems sort of a backward step, but the reason it doesn't matter truthfully is it never really did it. The 45 watt charger I bought personally myself is supposed to be up to 45 watts and I tested this on both the Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 just to see if there'd be a difference or be an update to this, but it never went past 33 watts of power. So that's the fastest you could charge with it. And it was pretty erratic as well too. So you could be running at 33, then suddenly it drops down to 10, then it goes to about 23 or 28. It was never truly consistent for a very long time at about the 33 watt range and it never went past up to 45 watts where you thought it should be. So the reason you were seeing a lot of these speed tests getting so close between the 25 watt and the 45 watt charger wasn't because the 25 watt was so good. I mean, it is a very good charger. It was that you were only getting about eight watts more of charging from the 45 watt charger. So you weren't even getting that full speed and that's why the speeds were so close. So the fact that they just dumped super fast charging 2.0 is perfectly fine. Hopefully they can refine it to make it better, but I feel bad for those out those of their us out there that decided to buy the 45 watt charger thinking we were truly getting 45 watts of charging. Now getting back to the Note 20 Ultra, I did notice that once it got past the 50% mark that we saw a dropage in wattage from about 21, 23 to down to about the 14 to 18 range consistently staying more so in the 18 watt range. And it did that while we got all the way up to about 60%, which took about 21 minutes to get to. But then this got interesting is when everything sort of dropped all the way down suddenly to like four or five watts at 60%. So I figured maybe it's overheating a little bit. So I kind of touched it on the back and it wasn't too warm. But when doing this, I accidentally unplugged and replugged the cable back in. And when I did that, the wattage came back up and it started averaging now a little more consistently between 14 and 18, but kind of stayed at the 14 watt range. So I found that kind of interesting that it, like I did a little jiggle there and it kind of came back up. So I'm not sure if that's some flaw or feature, but I just noticed that while I was doing this charge here. Now we're about to wrap up our charging test here as we're about to get to 80% and we can freeze the frame right there. And as you can see, we get to 80%, it took us about 40 minutes and 46 seconds. Well, we can roughly round that up to about 41 minutes or so. So basically, if you are getting ready to go somewhere and it's gonna take you about an hour, you can know, rest assured, that you're gonna get a good charge from it, at least up to 80% if you're starting out from the 20% range. And if you wanna get up to uh, all the way up to top it off, it takes about a little, just a little bit over an hour to get to about 100%, which is pretty cool here. So hopefully this information helped you out greatly. And if you need some more information of helping with your Note 20 Ultra, definitely check out how I transfer my data over using Smart Switch and also this other video here that YouTube is recommending that you watch. Thanks for watching.